Headers are a way of providing metadata for the API endpoint or API request that you're making. And many times you'll see some very common headers such as these that we've got listed here for most of our API endpoints. These are called accept application JSON, content type application JSON. Those headers are really just telling the systems what kind of data is being exchanged in the API. JSON data, uh, which we'll talk a little bit more later about later, is very common data uh, format to use for, for RESTful APIs. You might also see APIs that use XML, for example. But these headers are usually pretty standard throughout an API, and uh, you normally don't have to change them too much. There are times, though, when a particular API endpoint will specify an additional header. So that's when you need to read the docs and make sure that uh, if one is listed, that you're including it, because otherwise that API call will, will probably fail. We have an example from uh, Front's API is this create message API endpoint. In this case, you, um, you normally use the content type application JSON headers as a sending JSON data. But if you are including a attachment as part of your new message that you're creating, then uh, you can see here that you would wanna change the header to content type multi-part form data. So you replace application JSON with multi-part form data. Otherwise, when you're sending this binary data for these attachments, the API call is, is, is gonna return you an error. Some other common uses for headers would be to support the way you're authenticating. You might be passing a bearer token or other authentication credential through a header. Uh, and that's normally specified uh, in the authorization section of an API.